Star Wars 7x7 episode 2159. Today is the 1st of June, so let's talk about what's coming up in the world of Star Wars this month. Punch it! Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So here we are, welcome to a brand new month and there's a lot of stuff going on in the world of Star Wars this month. Oh boy, so let's talk about it. First of all, comic book production is back online, and so we're going to see a few titles ramping back up, including Star Wars Adventures and Dr. Aphra and the Bounty Hunters series, the limited series that's happening. On the book side of things, we are getting lots of books. Tomorrow, Queen's Peril, the sequel, or prequel actually, to Queen's Shadow by E.K. Johnston is coming out, and then later this month, We've got not one, not two, but three books coming out on June 23rd. The fiction book is Shadowfall, which is the sequel to Alphabet Squadron from Alexander Freed. And then there are two non-fiction books coming out, both of them by Cole Horton. One of them is a Star Wars book of lists, and the other is a traveler's guide to Batu. So lots of fun stuff to look forward to there. Speaking of Batu and Galaxy's Edge, there was an announcement just at the end of the month of May that there's going to be a VR experience related to Galaxy's Edge coming out, quote, later this year. I don't think we're going to necessarily see it in June, but we might get more details about it in June, so that's going to be fun. And on the Disney Plus side of things, the Disney Gallery series about The Mandalorian should should end its run in the month of June. And that's everything that we know currently at this point that's happening in the world of Star Wars. But as far as things that could be happening that we might hear about, well, let's talk about those possibilities, all right? First of all, we have had announcements about a new series from Leslie Headland and a new film from Taika Waititi. So possibly, something about that and possibly some sort of confirmation about what's happening in 2022, what movie that is going to be related to Star Wars. Wouldn't that be nice to hear? But I think that might end up being tied to Star Wars Celebration, which I'm really surprised, quite honestly, that we haven't heard more about Star Wars Celebration, and I have been checking their social media feeds. There still hasn't been any further announcement about whether it's going to happen, and if so, under what circumstances. So I think this month they have to announce something about it because we all have to make our travel plans if we haven't made them already. So... Yeah, I think we are due for an official announcement about Star Wars Celebration sometime this month. And as I recall, there were going to be announcements about people who had been approved for fan panels, for props, and things of that nature after June 1st. So I think, yeah, we're kind of running up onto it. On the live action side of the house, well, the Cassian production still isn't going and the Kenobi production still isn't going, but hopefully they can have all of their script stuff all worked out and all their pre-production stuff worked out so that way when it's time to get into production, which previously they said with the Kenobi series it was going to be in August, I believe, that they finally got into production with everything going on. Hopefully they'll still be able to meet those goals and wouldn't it be nice to hear something about that. I've seen a couple of, not rumors, but speculation kicking around about what Lucasfilm Animation will have for us in the fall. The presumption is that there is going to be a new series debuting in the fall, and there have been comments from people related to animation saying that they are still going strong regardless of the halt in live action production. The fact that a black series of figures from Star Wars Rebels was just announced as like one big nice set, including an Ahsoka Tano figure. There are people saying, oh, this is a sign. In fact, Adam Bray, who is a Star Wars author, is saying that he doesn't know anything specifically, but he says that it's worth paying attention to that these figures are coming out in October and that that could be a sign just according to his way of thinking. Again, he's saying that he doesn't know anything. This is his own speculation based on life experience for all intents and purposes. 
But that's another thing where, oh, you know, I feel like those are the kinds of announcements that they might have saved for us at Star Wars Celebration. And so maybe we really wouldn't be hearing anything about stuff like that until August. Same with movie situations, same with more information about live action. But yeah, let's hold our breath and see what happens with Celebration this month. And right there, that just about wraps up, I think, everything that we know about Star Wars storytelling and Star Wars reference books coming out in the month of June. And that is going to do it for this episode of the show as well. Thank you so much for joining me for it as always. And may the curve be flattening for you wherever in the world you may be. This is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox. This is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other related Star Wars items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited or their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2019 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.